What we're able to do with what turns out to be fairly small dollars from the federal government is really changing kids' lives and their entire, I think, future. The 21st Century Community Learning Centers are developed through a federal grant. It's specifically designed to work with kids in schools that are at least 40% of the students participate in the free reduced lunch program. Um, uh, they may have some achievement gaps and it's designed though to be um, programs run outside of the regular school day. Education doesn't end at the classroom. There's all kinds of ways that students are always learning, they're always absorbing, they're always growing intellectually, artistically, personally, and a lot of that's happening outside of the classroom. Children need those positive experiences to learn, to create that spark, but they also need to do something after school other than be on the streets or just play. Even if they were at, at school, it's so much better if they can just learn something and have fun at the same time. The, the opportunities, whether it's cooking clubs that they go to, archery clubs, or, or disc golf, or whatever it is that they're going to, it's just an experience that they'll have for life. The staff at each building that's involved, there they are so awesome at relating to the kids and coming up with ideas that they themselves want to do, and then together with the kids, they, they pull off some amazing clubs and activities. It provides kids hands-on time to get used to using the robots, to have an opportunity to explore um, what possibilities are in the future. It's also very exciting working with 21st Century because they're open to explore and discover and try new things out and try out new initiatives and different projects. It aligns really well with what Kaneko likes to do which is always to push the envelope and explore without boundaries and bring together disparate elements that don't seem like they'd fit and kind of meld them together whether it be art and science or literature and dance and just explore what happens when you get students and creativity and that excitement involved. Knitting I feel is a, is a bit of a lost art. Our knitting is basically a larger motor skill of um, needle knitting. So we are working on arm knitting scarves, blankets, headbands. I think it's important that not only it develops their larger motor skills, but it works on those finer motor skills. And we just have a good time with teamwork and um, just some camaraderie that we have. Because they're experiencing a number of different things, hopefully they'll be able to decide what they want to do in the future and be willing to try new things. We can provide programs with space science, animal science, uh, history, you, you never know what, what reaches certain children. We're teaching the students how to uh, basic techniques as far as drawing out the metal and shaping it, chewing it up. I figured why not bring it to the school and actually teach them a little bit of history and while having fun and maybe putting a modern twist to it. So we know each year we look at the data to determine what the clubs have done and how they've helped. And so each year we see kids who attend school more regularly. We see kids who have less discipline issues at school. We see kids with um, better test scores. Because once kids start doing that higher order thinking and um, evaluating, what, taking, taking a good hard look at who they are and their gifts and talents, they can picture themselves in their future, I think we're just getting them that much further down the road.
we want to offer real balanced uh, combination between academics, career exploration, social civic connectedness, health and wellness, and we want to make sure that we're including the family. I just feel like we're changing lives left and right over here. I'm just, this is, this is so great to be part of. I could go on for hours. Mm -hmm.